Hello everybody. In this video we will see how to manage the request for quotations using Odoo. Let's log in in our Odoo instance. Well, a uh, request for quotation is actually a standard business process whose purpose is to invite the suppliers into a bidding process to bid on specific products or services. We have a module called Purchase Management that you can get installed from the settings menu that will add purchases in the header. From here we can create a new request for the quotation. Now here basically we are interested to buy some products from our particular supplier. So let's add a supplier over here. We'll give a reference that will be used in the future processes. Order date will be fetched from the system automatically. Currency is based on the prices that you have set for the supplier. We can manage the different price list for different suppliers from the configuration. Now we will list out the products for which we want the supplier to bid for. Let's say I want to buy a leather jacket which is black and a leather jacket which is brown and iMac well I can change the quantity also so let's say that I want to buy 100 pieces of black leather jacket I want to buy 50 units of brown leather jacket and I want to buy 10 iMac so when I save it Odoo will calculate the subtotal well here we haven't specified the taxes but if we have specified the taxes then it will be included over here and will reflect in the total price Let's see what is under RFQ and bid. It is in term, which is used when the transportation of goods are made among the different cities or different states or different countries. You can set the last date of the bid till which the bid will be considered as valid. So let's take it as 10th of April. Under the deliveries and invoices, we will add an expected date, the destination, invoicing control, calls for bids, but for now we won't select anything over here. We can add the payment term based on which the supplier invoices will be managed and supplier payment will be affected by this option that you will be selecting. For now we will keep it empty. Let's save the RFQ. As you can see that it's by default in draft state. Now usually you will be sending this RFQ to the supplier by email. You can directly click on this button. Here Odoo will allow you to send the mail about the RFQ to all the followers of the document and additionally you can add emails of the recipients here. When you click on send button Odoo will start sending emails to the recipients and it will change the state of the RFQ to the RFQ. It may happen that you have changed the products the quantity or the unit price etc. So in case of uh, the RFQ details are changed and you want to resend the RFQ you can click on resend RFQ by email. You can get the 
print out of this RF cube by clicking on reprint RF cube that will download a PDF copy for you that you can physically give to the supplier and he can sign it out for you you can also set this RF cube to the draft state once you have given the RF cube to the supplier the supplier will give you the bid and once you have received the bid you can click on bid received to change the state of this RF queue in Odoo as you can see that Odoo has changed the state from RF queue to the bid received and for the note it will assign a current date or the date when you have received the bid in this field the next step is to confirm the order that will change this RFQ to the purchase order that we will see in the next video manual. For now let us switch to the graph view of the RFQ where you can see the supplier versus the amount of the RFQ. You have different filters using which you can filter out the data or you can group by this data using particular group you can also add this data to your dashboard so whenever you log in you can directly see this view of the RFQ next is the calendar view where you can see the details of RFQ on particular date you can see the data week wise or even day wise so this is all about the RFQ for the further operations related to purchase please see our next video manual thank you so much for watching